I still haven't received my passport with a Chinese visa and I'm flying on Monday. Today is Friday. Well, I got mine. Yeah. You're the last one left. Can so. I see yours? How does it look like? It makes me look like a criminal. Where is it? Look at that. That's the daddy. I could smile a bit better maybe, but... Yeah, so you got yours and I didn't get mine yet. That is not good. Forget about a passport, we'll sort that out, right? Forget about that. Um, we're filming three videos today, yeah? We need to film enough to cover us being in China. Yeah, so how many videos do we need? Can you get three to four videos three done? Three or four, yeah. Have you ever shot that many in one day before? No. Nope. Uh, maximum I've ever shot was two videos and then I collapsed because it was too tired. So this yeah. is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see what we do. I mean, we need to get it done no matter what. So we'll uh -huh. push through it and Stop crying about it. All right, big shout out to Tech Hoyer for loaning me this. Uh, the Tech Hoyer Connected. I have always been very judgmental about the Connected, but this is the Golf Edition. So I'm gonna see how the Tech Hoyer Connected Golf Edition works on the golf course. And I'm gonna properly test it out, hopefully with Seb on golf um, in October in Germany. So that will be good crack. Um, there's a parcel here as well, which we need to open and I received a incredible watch today, today, which I have been waiting all, waiting for for a very long time. It's a new watch for my personal collection. Shall I just grab it? Go for it. Bar the watch stuff and the YouTube stuff. Hello. Hi. You well? Yeah. Well. Doing well. I need to um, get my fucking sh together with um, get China. Get your dress sense together. Why? What's wrong with my dress sense? Do you want me to take the camera and show you Yes. Wearing? Yes. Listen, right, I live out of a suitcase. All my trousers are dirty and have to be cleaned, right? I'm All I wanted to wear... Ah, uh, f*** off. All I wanted to wear was a linen shirt because it's so bloody warm. Let's talk about the shoes. These are Louis Vuitton uh, shoes. With your white... <laughs> Yeah. Black and white trousers. Black and white, black and white. Black. Listen, it is what it is. Look at your dress sense. Nike Air, what is this? Well, exactly, good. point yeah, proven. Active gear. Active wear, active wear. Blah, 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 my active, active wear. wear. <laughs> Jesus. Right. <laughs> this is my new watch. Thank you so much to Alex and Tudor uh, Germany. Weber Jewelers in Germany are the legends if you're like i know a lot of people in germany actually watch these videos which i really appreciate so if you ever want a new watch they're authorized dealers of rolex but i think even uh uh Patek, if i'm correct but rolex cartier uh oh not omega but uh i think was it Chrono Swiss Tudor, as you can see? So head out to them um, if you're looking for a watch and you live in a, living around the neighborhood. They're the fucking bollocks. And Alex is an absolute legend. So um, look at that. But this one is what I'm excited about. So let's get this out. Let's get this properly fitted. Gareth, new watch. From our good friend Alex. What a guy. So, the watch is, of course, in extreme high demand, right? Okay. This is the new Tudor Pelagos FXD Alinghi uh, Red Bull Racing, right? And um, he's been speaking with Tudor if, um, if he's allowed to sell me that watch, right? Keep in mind, I paid for this, right? And Tudor in Germany, I actually expected they would say no, but Tudor in Germany was actually amazing. I said, listen, of course, uh, we'll make that happen, uh, but please make sure he doesn't, he's not gonna sell it. Now, let me tell you one thing. This watch is never gonna be sold. This is the first time that Tudor has put a chronograph in the Pelagos. So okay. it is a really cool collectible watch, a watch that when it was launched, I was absolutely obsessed about. First of all, when the F FXD came out in general, I wanted to have one the, with the French uh, military. But um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. So this is a special edition, Red Bull, Alinghi Red Bull racing. Look at that. Right, help me out, open this up because I can't do it. Okay, you're running yet? Yeah, I'm running, yes, yes. Professional? Okay. Professional, right? There's nothing, pro look at that, boy! Look at that. That is the daddy. 
That is the daddy. Wow, I'm actually absolutely over the moon with that. Right, let me throw this box aside. He, uh, uh, he sent in other goodies as well. Let me put this here. Nice box as well. Like, I mean, you don't see that very often yeah. with, with Rolex that they actually do a specific box. Um, so, I know it's Tudor, but it's still Rolex brand, you see? Like, what time is it? What time is it actually? It is 19 past 10. 19 past 10 on the, what is the date? 8th of September, Friday. So what I always do when I set the watch, right? I always set it at the day before when I set the date. So it's now the 8th of September, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I do, I set it at the 7th and then I manually wind the time forward so I know exactly if it's morning or evening. So now it's eight, right? So now I know it's morning. And what time is it now exactly? It is 10, 19 still. 10, 19, so 10, 20, done. Push it in, done. Look at that. Set and all, no bother. Absolutely love this watch. The Alenghi Rebel Race in Tudor Plagos. First time ever the Tudor Plagos with a chronograph. I love it. And look at the other goodies. He gave me, Alex gave me a, a Tudor cap and a beautiful watch roll. Let me see. That is the bollocks. Oh, look at that. Love that color. Yep. Okay. Look at that. That is the bollocks. That's nice. Alex, you absolute legend. I'm going to link we uh, Weber Jewelers here in the description. So check them out if you're in Germany, want to buy a watch. They're authorized dealers for many brands. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for this watch. Absolute belter. Right. We need to talk business. We need to talk, what are we doing today? We're filming. I we already discussed that. I need to chase up Chinese visa where I would discuss that. We're going to be strategical, right? There's a little YouTube behind the scenes here. Yeah. We're going to do a new reacting to comedians. Yeah. We're going to drop it the day that Andrew Schultz is here. Oh. That's what we're going to do. That is strategic. So the Thursday that We've he's never here. been strategic ever. Exactly. So on the Thursday that he's here, you'll be with him. Yeah, exactly. And as well, we also worked on the new brand tier list. I have at least. So it's going to be exciting. And I need to tell you guys about China. What am I going to do in China? I done the value retention, or the, the uh, viewers everyone, retention everyone trick. Keep guessing in the comments. Keep guessing in the comments. Because they, they're totally off. Yeah. No, I'm not, let's put it, I'm not launching my own watch brand. Let's be clear. I'm not seeing a client. Let's be clear. It, it, it is the bollocks, like. Right, let's first get something done with the sales team here. Um... I'm gonna give them a t-shirt, right? I'm gonna give them a Travis Scott McDonald's t-shirt for the top salesman of today. Agreed? Yeah. Right. The top sales guy of today gets a proper Travis Scott McDonald's t-shirt. Yeah. No, you're excluded from it. First, I have one, re two reasons for this. First of all, you already put 60K on the board, right? Yeah. That looks weird. Second, right? You're a posh bastard, right? So this is not for posh people, right? This doesn't hold this, Mark. Does this look like something that posh people would wear? No. Does this look like something that cool people would wear? Yeah. Yeah. So you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. You're posh. Yeah. So that's why you're excluded. Yeah, isn't it? Right. The top sales guy of today, we're going to figure out who is that going to be. And it's going to be on camera, right? Yeah. It's going to get that t-shirt. And funny enough, they're all your sizes because they're all fat man large size. Yeah. <laughs> that explains why you're dressed like Westlife today. Oh! <laughs> Up. <laughs> up. Let's let's see. You sold this today. Did you? I did. Fantastic. What are you selling today? An Air King? Yeah. And a 126622. 
That's a yacht master. Fantastic. Blue or rhodium? Rhodium. Rhodium, nice. Rhodium. What are you selling today? Sea dweller. Sea dweller, which one? Um, the 4,000. Ooh, sea dweller 4,000, no bother, son. What are you selling today? The Camaro 410. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The yeah. El Primero, the first. Yeah. The first ever fully integrated chronograph ever created. Yeah. Automatic, by the way. Just point that out. Um, yeah. It's a lot of nice goodies. New. You know what? Right? This Tech Heuer, the Day Date Carrera 5, is value for money, an incredible watch. Definitely if you're proud and pre owned. You know, in the beginning of my career as selling watches, I bought that watch for about 800 quid on eBay and stuff. That's how I started, funny enough. Like eight, eight, 700, 800 quid. And then I sold it for like 1,100, 1,200 quid. Yeah, it's quite a few hundred, like, yeah. Ah, you see, they're the daddy. Like in, today, you can't buy them anymore for that price. So effectively, you could say that the pre-owned value of that watch has increased. Yeah. But... I do like it. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful watch for the money, you know? My problem with that watch was, although it is sapphire glass, I think it is, it, it always scratched quite easily. Yeah. But value for money, it is an incredible watch. Yeah. All right, that's what I think. And look at that, beautiful ladies' day just. Love that. What do you think of the palm, palm motif um, day just? I actually really like it. You? On photos, it, it looks like weird. Yeah. But in real life, I'm it just works. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Rolex is master of making watches on photos look absolute horrendous. Yeah. But then in real life, they're the daddy. <laughs> Agreed? I didn't hear, but yeah, cool. <laughs> Come on, I'm busy. I've got a t-shirt to win. Uh, you're not winning the t-shirt, you're excluded. <laughs> uh, let's put it this way, you're not excluded, but your first deal is excluded. Right. I mean, this guy could be more posh if you tried. <laughs> Look at him. Jesus. You just come from the Yacht Club, yeah? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. That's why I had to exclude you. You're too posh. And I don't want to change it. You see what I mean? And you wearing that McDonald's Travis Scott t-shirt, that will change you. Where is the t-shirt? It's, it's worth a lot of money, you know. Horrible t-shirt, to be fair, I wouldn't really want that. <laughs> oh, f off! By the way, before I leave, I forgot that. Look at that. First ever Pelagos with a chronograph. That's an actually good looking. That is the Alinghi. That's the Red yeah. Bull Alinghi. The first one. Oh, the nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the daddy. That looks good. Look at that. She's a beaut. She is a beaut! Just to point out, that's my personal watch, so don't start fucking DMing me that you want it. Not my problem. What? Tell them to buy it. Buy it. Yeah. off. It's my watch. Not for sale. Off. Buy it off. No, not for sale. Off. We can make it for sale. No, it's not happening. You need to find a different one. Not this one. Find one on the market. This one is specifically owned by Nico Vanderhuis, and it will be a signed edition. No, absolutely no chance. That's my watch. F off. Finally, I have a brand that trusts me and say, like, okay, here's a watch. You won't, you won't sell it, right? And then you f it up. F you. F you too. <coughs> Mark, have you seen my Alinghi? My Alinghi. Shooter. This is the Pelagos. Oh, man, I like it. That's the daddy. Here's the beaut. It's a fucking beaut. It's nice. I like the, yeah, it's cool and strong. I love it. Love it. Suits well with my outfit today. Hat and all. What do you think of my new watch? Looks good. Love it. What do you think of my new watch? You look rough today, to be fair. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, I look rough. You look like a fucking clown. Just walked into my fucking office. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the guy, he went out. Let me, what? No, let me, let me, let me, give me a, give me a, oh. stand up, give us a tour. Listen. Hey, right, no, stand back. Right, now, do you know the first verse of I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> I want it that way. 
<laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, that's it. You're not officially an 90s boy, man. Fucking okay, hell. Here, uh, what time were you, were you back? Um, early. <laughs> that's what way you define it. Like early in the morning, not early to get home. Quarter, Listen, to, quarter to four. Quarter to four, at least before four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you go? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play for making hard it. Bar. Hard bar. Fair play for making it. It's like ten thirty-five. Yeah, hard bar, then a dirty onion. Then you know what a dirty onion? Where the worst Tom's favorite place? Thompson's. Thompson's man. <coughs> every and I said to him every time I fucking go there, I'm never going again. And the the last time I was actually here was the last time I was out with him two yeah. years, two years ago. <laughs> Mate, you need to fucking stop bringing me to Thompson's. It's, he loves it though. Aye. He loves is he is he coming in in the office? He was on the shop around right? like about ten months ago. I seen him in there. So he's coming to the office. Uh, I think so. Was your you are you doing a watch day? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it will be good. Have you got a wee? Yeah, of course I do. But this one is my new watch. What do you think? Sorry. Right. Oh, off. I'm gonna try and sell my good friend uh, Tom's friend. Which you went out with last night. Tom Tom Gann has been on, on our channel a few times and I'm gonna sell his friend uh, my platinum day date because I really wanna sell it. Because I've had it for a long time. I'm gonna sell that. Hopefully, like what do you think of his disco fucking watch? The one he stole off his oh, mate, the fucking crack I had last night, eh? Every every bar we were in, right? And yeah. he was like chatting the ones and all and I was like what do you think of this Michael Kors watch? Oh, just everybody's like, oh, I love Michael Kors. And I think something. Oh, lovely. Oh. So, Michael Kors watch. Oh, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on, son? What's going on? All right. <laughs> all right. All right. What's going on? Is that your Michael? Oh, is that Michael Kors? Is that Michael Kors? I Sake. So these lads, what time were you back at the hotel? Half eleven. <laughs> What's he got in about two o'clock? Oh yeah, yeah, me too, me yeah. too. <laughs> How did he come back at quarter to four then? Uh, he's, he's a long walk. He's a long walk. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Uh, yeah, so he tortured you with Michael Kors and told everyone it was Michael Kors, yeah? That's it, you better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing men. sunglasses for a reason. Let's put it that way. <laughs> right, let me show that watch. Show me that watch. Right, that's your new watch, right? That's my one. This is the one. Gold for Christmas. Gold for Christmas. Look at that. <laughs> F me, that's the daddy. <laughs> that's the daddy, son. That's the daddy. And when are you when are you getting rid of that? No, you can keep them both, but listen. This is the daddy, mate. That's daddy day date. Daddy D. Daddy Day Day. Double da D. You're wet. You currently own Mummy Day Day, right? <laughs> but that is Daddy Day Day, right? That's the Daddy Day Day. <laughs> That's the belter. You'll never look at that watch the same again. It's going in the bin. Never look. <laughs> <laughs> it's going in the bin. So basically, he's been tortured the whole day by Stephen, all night, going out, telling everyone that, that he was wearing a Michael Kors watch. And people are like, oh, there's nothing wrong with Michael Kors. There is nothing wrong with Michael Kors. But. But, <laughs> very expensive Michael Kors watch. Yeah. But can I just point out, um, can, you introduce, what, what, can, you, can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Richie. Richie, and what do you do for a living? Uh, Other than being a f***ing... I wear Michael Kors watches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it Michael Kors model? Uh, I don't know. See him in the catalog, page six. <laughs> so, basically, Richie organises the Wealth Summit in Dublin, and this is a event, when is it? It's the 15th of November in the RDS. The RDS? Yeah. The RDS, yeah? The RDS. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. All right, all right, RDS, yeah. yeah. It's on the 15th of November. 15th of November, yeah. And you're all welcome. Uh, you're all welcome. You all need to come because I'll be speaking there with Tom. Tom is, by the way, my first ever customer. Represent, no bother. I'm going to put an awkward photo here of you as well, uh, which I shared on Instagram as well. So there you go. My first ever customer bought a Brentley Nevy timer. How much did you pay again? Ripped off. Ripped <laughs> off the f <laughs> I thought it was two and a half thousand euros, but he said it was... It was three and a half thousand. Ah! Yeah. You probably still Don't know nothing about probably that. Still here to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, my first ever customer of Pride Opinion. And Tom was responsible for 
what do we call these guys? The protein bars? Protein, yeah. Fulfill, Fulfill and Kali Kali. This is the main man behind it. I know he doesn't look, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. But no, I'll be speaking on stage with Tom. But as well, there's another guy, which is actually 10 times, 100 times, if not 1,000 times bigger than me, Mr. Bartlett. Stephen Bartlett is coming as well. So 15th of November, yeah? Yep. Yeah? So if my missus, my missus is due on the 29th, right? And I promised her that I wouldn't be traveling, right? Now, Dublin is not really traveling, but I'll make sure that I'm there. But if my, my child is being born, I will not be present. Yeah, Stephen to step in. <laughs> Stephen to step in. Yeah, exactly. Can I can I borrow that outfit for this bitch? Uh, nothing wrong with my outfit. Yeah, Fuck up. To do the white shoes like Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the look you were going for here. <laughs> no. you messed it up with the shoes. The bollocks. <laughs> <Fuck up. laughs> you. This is the watch you should be buying. Done. Do we have a deal? Deal. Done. Tom, we have a handshake. 22. Fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me, let me well. see your face. Let me I'm see your face. Well. <laughs> oh, no, uh, he's not well. He's a bit rough today. Let me sit in the fucking boss's chair. There you go, son. Right. What do you think? Beautiful. Sorry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah? He, he's not a. He's, he's not great to the camera, is he? Not today, not today. Well, not no, yesterday you weren't great either, but... <laughs> <laughs> Every day's a learning bit. I know, but I'm very sorry I couldn't join, but I had to really f***ing... I've never filmed three videos on a day, and I have to film three videos for China. China! Because we're going to China, so we need to have three videos, which I will tell you what I'm going to do in China. It is the bollocks, right? This is the second video I'm hanging around with a cliffhanger, but this video I'm actually going to tell you what I'm going to do. I think you have to wait and see that is what we call retention are you ready uh, to go back to dublin all the way mate all, the, all way. the way and look at tom working hard it's a beautiful day today in belfast though it's a beautiful day and i was supposed to be filming there 15 minutes ago and i'm late already look at that i'm dirty in my fucking shirt already that's a disgrace he just bought himself a fucking unbelievable day date. Daddy day date. My personal day date. Privilege. I mean, uh, shall I sign it somewhere, no? Listen, just the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> f, f off. F off. <laughs> right, get the f out of my office. I have shit to do. Work to do. Right, you may have fucking bought a fucking cracker of a watch, but get the f out. I'm <laughs> what? What are you fucking. Well, look at that. Okay, can we get a pride and pinion bag here? Yeah? Two, please. Two, because look at that. Stephen, No, Stephen is in the storeroom the last time I checked. I told you to get the f out. Johnny, you're going out the back. Yeah. Gonna get out to the back. Johnny, bye! Books. Yeah. You well? All good. Maybe two to three weeks. Yeah. I'll do a little thing for you on the tickets. I'll ring on the way down. Super. For yeah. tomorrow, is it? Is it tomorrow or Sunday? Sunday. Oh, uh, Republic of Ireland against the Netherlands. Yeah, I believe it, mate. Right. It, Look the dubs. Uh, uh, <laughs> two of them. Look at that. Service with a smile. Service with a smile. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Show me that Michael Kors watch again. <laughs> right, lads. Legends. Johnny, I thought you said. Thank you. Thank you. Right, that's us filming now. Quick video about the collaboration of Swatch and Blop, huh? Yeah, he's doing a, a quick video. Look at that! Look at that! What do you think of it? Some of them aren't bad. I don't like. I, I don't like that. Mm. I like the straps. Aye, but the diamond stuff. Exactly. Have we seen cues yet? Because I made a statement that there won't be any cues across the world. They're already up for a thousand pound on the internet. Yeah, but that is. You, they were. They were out for last week, but I don't believe they will. Uh, there's cues, but I'm curious to see. And then we're gonna be filming Gareth Bay. Blob and Swatch introduced five watches. First of all, I really like the design of the Blanc Pain Swatch collaboration. Right, the five different colors corresponds to five different oceans. I mean, to be honest, this is just making up a bullshit story. I actually really like the watches. I think they're fantastic. 
do that scrap that again one second this could be so easy i don't know why i'm making it difficult you're doing uh, great swatch is back this time with a collaboration with blanca every color corresponds to a ocean what do i think of this blanca collaboration doesn't need that is that does that come across all right yeah okay yeah. two things to say about this first blanca is known as the oldest watch brand in the world and that communicates and that and 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 you can really see that as long as more people know your name today than they were before it's a profit the problem lies for me is brand perception i genuinely wish blanca had the best i want them to do well because they deserve that and i know the people behind blanca are very passionate but um how can we say this um what are you doing in the studio? What are you doing in the studio? <laughs> I got this on film. I got this on film, boy. So tell me, you sold a watch? Yes. Daytona? Yes. Was that the White Dial Daytona? Uh, no, it was a Cosmograph 23. So this is the White Dial Daytona, no? No, 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 it's like a Black Dial. Oh, so... Two-tone, bimetal. Oh, the bimetal one. Yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. fair play. Cosmograph is across all lines of Daytona, by the way. Right, okay. There you go. Kieran is new, but he's a fucking legend. That's it. Done. So what do you want me to do? I uh, want to get a video done for a client. He's a big fan of the channel. So I uh, thought, like, he put a request in. Can we get a video done? I said we'd make it happen for him. Done. So I'm going to say make a video. And then I'm going to film me make. I'm going to basically film making a video for him. So he's going to be. Inception. He's actually. Yeah, that's Inception. He's Inception. actually going to be it's a on the Uncut channel. Video. What's his name? Uh, Amir. Amir. Where does he live? Uh, he's from, uh, well, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. Right. I'll just, I'll Who do you think me. he supports, blue or red? I don't know, bro. Probably, probably red. Has to be, like. Nah, support, mate, nah. Uh, supporting blue and Liverpool, mate. Mate, the blue is the best play. stadium in the championship. Where? Oh, I gotta get so much hate there. Really? No way, bro. Best stadium in the championship, to be fair. No. <laughs> Like, give me your phone. Let me make a video. Yes, I'm just... Hurry I'm, up! I'm getting this fucking... Johnny is waiting. Gareth is waiting. Sorry, media guys. I'm fucking a thing up today. You call me a media guy? I'm not a media guy. I didn't call you a media guy, did I? <laughs> Are you calling Johnny media guy? I actually can't because... That's offensive. That's offensive. Johnny is an athlete. I seen him play pool yesterday. The shots he was pulling off was incredible. I know, that's true. Oh, and he's still lost. I'll whitewash you. Oh yeah, my first ever whitewash. I don't recall that. Did you get that. whitewash? I don't recall that. Johnny was hitting some f***ing words. Yeah, but he still lost the second game. So Johnny won the first game, <laughs> and I won the second. Oh, you're a cheeky c you just win the first game? I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything. Lines. I do not know anything about that. All right, hurry up. There we go, bro. Oh, wait. Right, this is going to yeah. be Inception, right? One second, let me put this here. Oh, that's me. Hey, let's do this this way. Yeah, we need to think about this shit. I'm here, you shit talk. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you're well. I really fucking appreciate your business. I really, really do. Thank you so much. And I hope you absolutely love your new Daytona and wear it with pride. Ha! And pinion. That was a joke. That was not funny. Anyway, is it red or blue? Because we had a discussion here. And by the way, you're on camera now. So this video is going to be viewed. On the Uncut channel, Nico Leonard, Uncut, there you go. I don't know what else to say, but always wear a seatbelt, always wear a condom, safety first, and yeah, bye. Yay! Did I do that all right? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so that was a video to someone Kieran sold a watch to. Has to be done. Amir, legend, thank you for the support, thank Appreciate you for the it. business. Appreciate it. Now, f off and sell watches. Hello, camera. Ike, I dropped my phone. Um, what was this vitamin stuff? Yeah. Give me that. Please. Yeah. Is there a taste and stuff? It's a no strong kick tip, so it's pretty drinkable. So, this is basically vitamins, right? What is this? Vitamin shots. Yeah, it's like one of those, you know the health shots you buy that are like, do you think ginger and stuff, you know? I love ginger. Well, there's no ginger in that stuff. So I love ginger women as well. Do you? Yeah, fuck me. Red is the bollocks. 
So let me try this. So they want me to, they want, they offered us a sponsorship. Honestly, don't know. No? Okay. Right, I have no idea. I don't know. They sent, they sent a rack of vitamin shots anyway. Right, we're gonna figure it out all night. Vitamin shots. Do you need to shake it like you mean it or what? Tasty? Yeah, it's actually tasty. It's not too bad. Shake, breathe, drink. Yeah, that's actually quite tasty, you know. I don't know what taste this is, but subtle sweet. It's actually, this is actually quite nice, you know. I like that, and it's full with vitamins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, let's uh, let's figure that one out. Yeah. Oh, what a day! What a day! I love that. That Luke Combs video is gonna be the bollocks, isn't it? Yeah. Done. Can you see it? Uh, we're gonna get. A, we're gonna ask everyone to send this to Luke Combs, right? Because he's coming to Belfast, and we need tickets for a show. We need to. <laughs> Johnny wants tickets for a show. I just want to talk watches yeah, with him. You're just a groupie. Yeah. Right, we got two watches in because Ashley just threw them on the desk or threw them on here, so we need to grab them. Johnny, can you help me? Just, just come here and... Help! Right, don't know who sent these, but... Uh, let me see. Let's bring this to the studio. Like, genuinely, it would be amazing. Like, I love talking to other watch collectors, right? Just watch collectors. I don't care if they're famous. Really? Oh, Jesus. Oh, f Oh, that was... Uh, it's not about being famous, but it's just cool to talk to other collectors, isn't it? You have no idea what I'm talking about. No, right? you just walk into this room. Yes, so there's two watches here that, that arrived. Let me see. One of which is... The Open Gear Hurricane by Chrono Swiss. That's cool. Um, that's a watch I'm gonna wear for a couple of weeks. Um, just to clarify this, I don't get watches for free. Just to clarify that, right? My opinion is not for sale and will never be for sale. But if you wanna sponsor me, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it. Mm. Let me see what this is. Let me open this. Um, let me... Yeah. Hold on. Hello, guys. Are we filming too long, you think? Is this, this video is going to be long. This could be a long one, yeah. I say just deal with it. Yeah. Also, this pink room looks amazing behind you. Yeah, I just had a really good call uh, with uh, Ulysse Nardin. Hi, Nico. Leuk je in de familie te verwelkomen. Uh, welkom heten. Spreek je snel Niels. Dutch. Do you want to tr translate that? So, hi Nico, uh, lovely to welcome you in our family. I'll speak to you soon, Niels. Niels is the CEO, is the chief boss man of Frederic Constant. Very kind, appreciate that, Niels. <laughs> Niels is a Dutch guy, right? And the funny bit is, um, Frederic Constant is founded by a Dutch guy, uh, Peter, Peter Strauss. Uh, and Dutch people are very tall, right? Niels is like, like hell level tall, right? Like, I would actually argue to say, Cal, stand up. That, that Niels is even taller than him. Like, he's like nine foot two. Nobody's taller than me. Ah! <laughs> I, I would argue to say that Niels is taller than you for sure. No. Can we get a wee side by side just for these two? We've already done this before. I am six foot seven. He's touching the roof there. Yeah. Can you touch the roof? <laughs> Can I f <laughs> <laughs> That's the bollocks. So they sent me a watch. Look at that. Many people know that the World Timer is my favorite ever complication in the world. Yep. Yeah. And uh, guess what this is? A World Timer! Oh, yeah, that's stunning. I, this is funny, right? Because I criticized Frederico Slot for a long time, um, which was rightfully so. 
Um, because they were doing rip-offs of Patek Philippe. And this is, by the way, not a rip-off of Patek Philippe. Um, but they went into new management, new company, new people, and they're actually doing things right. And I love seeing that. I love seeing a brand going into the right direction and just look at themselves and say, okay, this is, now we're doing stuff good. And this is Frederico stuff, doing great things uh, with very passionate watchmakers, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, one of which I can consider a friend. I speak with him on a regular basis. He, he always works like till late and then he calls me and like, I'll talk a chat about watches or <laughs> about watchmaking and what he's doing. It's really interesting. Just great people overall. And uh, love that. So full steel world timer. I uh, like it. Get that this all oh, this plastic is always so hard to dismantle. Um, ah, there we go. Look at that. Love that blue. You know what I would love? As a piece unique, right? You see 24 cities here, yep. right? That one of the cities, that London is replaced with Belfast. How cool would that be? <laughs> like, I would genuinely love that as a piece unique. Great, nice box as well. Love it. So that's this, that's the Frederic Costant. That's cool. Um, now, by the way, this is my new watch. This is yours? Yeah. It's my new watch. Um, that was the, whenever, it's actually a story behind it. In the really early stage of my uh, career, um, watch-wise, when I started writing stuff on Facebook groups and when I started learning about watches, and before, that was after I started watchmaking, really, right? Okay. I, uh, I always wanted the world timer, the Frederico Stahl world timer, but I was never really able to afford it, so I never done it. No, I no, bought no. one finally, but I do have the Patek world timer as well, 5231, which is a beaut, Swiss, this is the Hurricane. What a box, box by the way. Mental. Look at that box. That's some presentation. That is a hell of a box. Look at that, it's limited edition 34 from 50. Did they just send me a brown spring and new one? I thought they were just sent me a, like a one that they fucking give to people. Uh, give to media and stuff to test, but they just gave me a brown spring and new one. I, uh, I talked about Chrono Swiss in one of the new videos, the five watch brands you've never heard of. And uh, I just gave them a call. They, they really appreciated the video and they, uh, I gave them a call and I said, listen, can you send me one of those? I just want to play with it, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is so much. Can I get you? Oh, hey, you. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, where have you been? To the shop selling right. What have you sold? Uh, fair play, fair play. He's doing well. What? Stevie is so hung over that he went home, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin is gonna, m Monday, going to London to deliver a watch to a good client of ours. Size it up with all sorts. And Johnny is, what is Johnny? Johnny's creating the shorts, no? No, Johnny's that in Sunday's video on Friday. Holy Combs video! Let her have it, son. Yeah. We do have a watch here which he actually should open. We should finish that video, you know. What video? The Hublot video. Wait, it's here? That's the Hublot. Is this it? Yeah. That's it. That's for a main channel video. That yeah, but we need to finish it. Yeah, yeah. I have not opened it. It's I still there. Know, I didn't even know it was here. What are you looking? I'm looking uh, here. Isn't the customer always right? Yeah, I'm why? Because they're demanding that I have a beer with them in the merchant. Okay. okay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so. You just gotta ask these things to Nico when he's talking. He says to me, he says to me, you need to stay for a drag perfect for me. Alright, if he forces you for that, alright. Oh, she! She. Ah! Oh. But her husband's there. Alright, never mind that. Alright, never mind then. 
Oh, that is the bollocks. Right, what did you ask? I asked, what is this? What is that? Right? Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? I think it's something for inside the watch. That's correct. It's something for inside the watch. But what? why do you think that is? What do you think it actually is? I don't know, in case it breaks and you need to replace it? No. I don't know. No. So, this is... Let me see if I can show it. This is a date wheel, right? Let me see. See, that's a date wheel. It says 23, 24, 25. Right. So... It's actually really cool. We, we in our lifetime will not need this, right? But say the watch survives till the year 2100, mm -hmm. you'll have to replace part of the actual um, uh, day, day wheel, yeah. right? Day wheel yeah. with this part to make it accurate further than the year 2100. You know why that is? I, I have no idea. No? The year 2100 is considered a leap year, but we don't count it as a leap year. And this watch is therefore accurate till the year 2100, meaning that if you have this watch running, right, till the year 2100, it will give you the exact day, exact date, exact month, exact time, exact year, did I already say that? Yeah till the year, the year 2100. And whenever you pass 2100, you have to replace this because this perpetual calendar doesn't have brains. It's mechanical, mechanically, it's a mechanical watch. It doesn't have a computer brain. So you cannot tell this watch to not count the leap year in 2100 when it's actually is a leap year in 2100. Do you think it'll still be working in 2100? In all honesty, no, but is it cool? Yes. It is cool. I'm impressed that you know all that, to be fair. You do know <laughs> I, first of all, own this business, second of yeah, all. Yeah, but like, how do you know, who taught you that? How do you know that? It's because this is my fucking life. No, I know, but it's just- Have you ever seen me taking a watch apart? No. 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 Have you ever, have you seen me fixing things? Um, no, because you're always storming about with that camera in your hand. <laughs> This is the thing, <laughs> but that, that's what it is. That's what the tube uh, usually is with IWC, Kurt Klaus uh, Inventor Tourbillons. Very cool. Of a uh, uh, perpetual calendar, sorry, nothing to do with tourbillon. So there you go. Love it. So uh, before we go back to filming again, what was our postcode again? BT1 Two Little Dicks. So our postcode is BT1 Two Little Dicks. Or Two Little Ditties. <laughs> two little ditties. Connor, go back in the sales room, sell some watches because your humor is out. Is... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I like two little dicks, but I like You do I like two I little dicks, don't you? Why do you always get yourself in this situation? Always, always. It's not you that does this. It, it's not me that does this, it's you. You're the problem. Like I am the problem. Stephanie, you know. I don't know anything. Uh, no comment. No. <laughs> no comment. I don't Here, question. What was the last horse you you ride? What was the last horse? You ride. My other horse. <laughs> Never mind, guys. This is genuinely uncut. <laughs> Sorry for the length of this video, but yeah, there's, there's a lot going on today. There's a lot going on today. I'm actually really happy with this, you know. That is the bollocks. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that, Claudio. Just jumping on a quick call with Claudio here. H. Moser, congratulations with the launch of that crazy minute repeater with MBNF. Yeah, that's right. The Panda, Pandemonium. Uh, that is in uh, in November. It's a great charity. Uh, we're gonna hopefully raise a lot of awareness for uh, muscular dystrophy. So I, I fully uh, plan on you uh, uh, baking the winning bit, Nico. What do you say? I will support you for till till <laughs> till death. But I don't have that money. That watch will go for bizarre money. But. I mean, uh, congratulations. Well done and a great cause. By the way, um, 
Claudio works for H. Moser, and um, I know Claudio for how long do we know each other? Seven least, years? Uh, six think, years? Six years, yeah. Six years, so way before YouTube. Basically in the beginning of my business, when I set, set, met, met, um, met Claudio, where in Philly, when I said, I'm gonna take over the watch industry, I want everyone to know my name. Remember? That was incredible, and you're doing it. That Congratulations, is the, brother. That's the funny Very proud of you. Appreciate that, brother. So uh, I can't film this, but um, cool things happening again. Right, office is an absolute state, state of uh, emergency. Nah, it's not really. It's currently, let me see, 13 minutes past uh, five in the afternoon. <laughs> Just filmed uh, the second video. We need to film another video. We need to do an integration. Yep. Um, and I need to jump on a call here. Hello, guys, where's the music? Where's the beer? Yeah. It's Friday. Oh, yeah. Right, um, and I actually need to jump on a call here with uh, my agent and editor about my new column. For the, or the next column in the Oracle Time, how are you? <laughs> it's... Oh. Fire it all! Why is there a can of Guinness coming here, Johnny? Okay. Why? I don't... No, I don't like Guinness. Do we need to film one more, yeah? We have to. Why? Because it would, that will get us back to the Monday we write home. Really what? Nice. The Monday we get home, <laughs> the video is pretty done. No. All right. So we're going back to one upload a week, just <laughs> temporarily? For yeah? All right, all right. So we're trying to see if I, if I don't film now, we're going back to one video a week. And if I do film, we, uh, we have two videos a week uh, for my during my travel into China. So let me jump on this call because I have to jump on this call now. So new plan, we don't need to do one more video. Yeah. We need to do that integration Yeah. for that last video we just shot. Yeah. But what we're gonna do now is instead of post another video that Monday we get back, we will already have finished the first Chinese video. True, true, true. So um, we don't have to oh, don't have to record another video. That gives me also some time at home uh, with my missus. Exactly. And uh, one of my good friends' his birthday. We're going to surprise him with some cars tonight. So you have a meeting now? Yeah, just have a call now. And uh, the funny bit is... Do you know how long that's going to be? Uh, it's, don't know. It's... I'll see here, signed in. Yes, done. Just going live now and then jumping on this pick account. Yes, for fuck's sake. You don't have permission to change meeting settings. I don't want to fucking change meeting sessions. Like the pain of my life is by far uh, Microsoft Teams. It never fucking works. I never, ever, ever have been able to jump on a Teams call, ever. It's a joke. Look at that, there's Dan, there's Scarlett. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna write our new column, right? So we're gonna go new column, Oracle time. When is this one coming out? Uh, five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. It's the bollocks. Ladies and gentlemen, it is. 6.30, look at that, class, love these. Bringing these with me to China if I'm allowed to. I don't know this yet, but uh, whatever, we'll make that happen, hopefully. It should be all right, hopefully. <laughs> it's a bit mad. Um, packing everything up, just filmed the last video, so we've done that. And I left my lunch here. That is just, a, that's unacceptable. That's not good enough. Kev! Yay! Gareth is coming with me to uh, China. He actually got his visa already, but I think I've already said that in this video. Right. Um, we're going to do daily videos again, aren't we? We are. I think starting now for China. Shall we just do this and post this on Sunday? And then, then we have daily videos again. Sort of. Yeah, if we post this on Sunday, we can be one day ahead. 
we need to figure out how to post in China because apparently we'll, it's weird. Yeah, you can't post. In, there's something about posting in China which is a bit it weird. Messes the videos up and messes the videos up. And whatever. So we'll figure out over there. What we'll do, right? Well, I'll send this to Johnny. We'll just send this to Johnny. They do this every day. He sent this to Johnny. Don, he posts it. That is the fucking daddy. Um, so from Sunday on, whenever you see this video, you can expect daily videos again. More work to do. Yay! He's happy. Hey, if I'm allowed in the country. <laughs> One second, let me grab my bag. Here, hold this. Right. Uh, do you think I should share what I'm doing tonight, or is that too much? Um, well, I don't this know. is like YouTube, but then YouTube real life, back end of YouTube. No, 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 I think people like to see what you do outside of here. So tonight there's a birthday of a friend of mine, right? Okay. And uh, we're going to drive some old cars, and I'm going to look at a GT2 RS. Uh, do you want a McDonald's t-shirt, by the way? Um, I mean, if one fits me, sure, but... It's large. I'll try it. So it is... Just a Are these on like 200 quid a pound? Yeah, they're 100 quid, yeah. Where did you get them? It's because I have friends that sent me that. I actually have friends, you know. Yeah, it sounds weird, but... So, the new Travis Scott's here. I'm bringing them with me to China. Shame. I need to buy tomorrow. I need to go out to shop and buy some chinos. Yeah, what's the dress code for China? Just sit it. Casual, formal casual. Because all I have and all I own is black... Chinos is fine. Black jeans. Black t-shirt and a shirt. That's all. That's good. perfect. That's, That's perfect. That's fine. I don't even know what temperature it's gonna be, you know. Look at that. There's a full-blown yoga class going on. What shall I say? Scream my window, go for it. Show us your titties! Shall I do it? Or I'm scared now, fuck well, it. Don't say that, but just shirt something. You're the man in white. I'm actually scared. Belfast says you! Fully stickered on. I bought this years ago. Fully stickered. Right, sub. With not even a date on it. Where's the bloody card? Ah, here. There's no date on it. There's no. Nothing on it. That's quite cool, isn't it? Let's go. You won't find another one. So that's quite cool. Actually, need that in the safe. Done, dusted. I think I'm happy here. That's locked. That's closed. I need to bring this. I need to bring this. I need to bring my laptop. And I always say I need my passport. I need my wallet. And I need my pills. And the rest we can buy. That's how we roll. So the big question is, uh, this is going to be a very long video. So my apologies on that. Um, but um, should I just skip tonight? Don't post that. Otherwise, it's too long. We'll see. Right. right? Use your imagination, then you guess my word. Imagination, guess how it goes. Um, I probably crashed. Guys, love your support. I wouldn't be here without you. I love you guys. And let's fing go. I'm going to show you the real side of YouTube. I've run a business, run a YouTube channel, running my own life, which is a fing disaster. This is the real deal. Oh, yeah. And. In the next video, you'll probably see if I'm allowed in the country, yes or no. Still haven't told them what I'm doing in China.